Well, I've had a break from uh, the project for about two weeks and then uh, started up again a couple of days ago. And uh, this is what I've done so far. I've managed to um, start the reassembly process of reassembling the left wing. Um, so, uh, basically gone along and riveted all the... Uh, ribs onto the main spar and then I've riveted the rear spar to that assembly and now we have a wing frame and uh, it's gone together very well all the rivets are good um, everything has gone in really nicely and uh, no issues at all anywhere really um, the first four are always a bit of a fight because to actually get the riveter into the right position to rivet the uh, these ones uh, because they're stiffer and uh, less able to be uh, to sort of bent out of the way um, for the riveter um, it had to be assembled from the uh, the root rib onwards because obviously once you've riveted in rib number one you can't get really access to the bolts for the root rib so um, so I started with the root rib uh, bolted that on um, locked all the bolts up they've all been sealed with uh, some red paint as well so that I know that if they move at any point and um, and then worked away from the uh, the route out towards the wing tip and uh, as I say it's all gone to plan so far um, the rivets are all looking good and everything looks straight I've reattached the uh, the brace I've leveled it all up whilst uh, whilst I was riveting on the the rear spar and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good pleased with that so that's four or five hours work there over the last couple of days. More later. After a couple of hours of uh, clecoing the top skin into place and then riveting it on, we have a fully riveted top skin. Can't uh, rivet the far end because that's where the wing walk goes up the uh, the doubler goes up there and uh, we can't fit that until the wing is actually fitted to the aircraft because it needs to be trimmed but apart from that it's looking like a good job everything's gone to plan so far and I'm pretty pleased with it more later so Katie and I have just flipped the wing over so the top is now underneath and I've just been along and checked all the rivets uh, the rivets and they are all 100% good up to the point where I obviously haven't riveted the last four on this on that side um, and so the next thing to do is to put the electrical conduit in for the wingtip lights. Um, so I shall busy away and do that. And then we'll uh, get the bottom skin uh, on the top here and uh, check that it's all fitting and lined up. And we'll level everything up and hopefully rivet the bottom skin on. Both the uh, top and bottom half skins are now riveted on and uh, now I'm putting on the front skin starting with the bottom edge first 
So the first thing to do is to rivet all the way along the main spar to hold it on and then we'll work from the main spar down towards the leading edge with the countersink rivets and then obviously it will be then time to flip it over and uh, and do the other side so uh, that's where we are at the moment about 102 rivets later We've riveted across the, uh, the top, well, what is the bottom of the main spar, because the wing is upside down, and we're looking at the bottom of it. And I've copper clecoed the uh, forward skin into position, ready to rivet it with some countersink rivets, and that's what's next. Uh, made a small error, which I've had to, uh, to sort out. I forgot to put some Clecos in these two positions here to stop me from putting rivets in there um, because the doubler has to run across here which has to be fitted afterwards and I put rivets in there, silly me. Um, so I've just had to drill them out, um, pretty easy to do um, and because the uh, the other side's not closed yet, all the bits dropped out, so um, otherwise they'd be clanking around in there forever. Anyway, here we go, we're going to do the uh, countersink rivets next. So there we go, that's the underside front skin um, riveted, and it uh, didn't take too long, everything went to plan, um, and that's the best I can do with that. Now we need to flip it over and um, pull the forward skin down onto the top of the main spar and uh, rivet the other side. Doing a bit more work to uh, the left hand wing today. So uh, ready to strap the front skin down onto the top of the main spar. So we've got the two ratchet straps on, the protective blocks at the back, the uh, plank of wood across the front and some uh, hardboard protectors around the leading edge of the wing and uh, about to uh, pull it all the way back and of course I've got to take the top row of Clecos out and then secure it in place. Um, I'm doing it on my own today, so uh, it's going to be a, uh, an interesting job. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens later. Well, five minutes later, and uh, I've done it. It actually pulled down uh, fairly easily, and uh, I've got... Uh, some Clecos in across the top uh, of the main spar. Um, as before, it is pretty tight, but not as tight as it was the first time that I bent it over. So um, it obviously seems to have gone in quite well. Everything seems to be lining up. The uh, Can't see anything that's uh, out of place. So now it's a time to release the thingies and these go off with a bang because there's no easy way of doing this. So here we go. Whoa, that's that one released. And bang, that's that one released. So we'll take all that off now, the straps and the wood and everything, and uh, get ready to rivet the, uh, the top side of the front skin. And uh, after that, we'll be looking at the wingtip. Excellent. More later. All the rivets are uh, now in the top side of the front skin, um, except the ones for the wing doubler, which I've left out for the time being. 
and we'll pop those in when uh, we fit the wing to the fuselage. Um, all went okay, had one rivet that wasn't very good, so I've taken that out and redone it, and uh, it's fine. So I'm not looking too bad. The skin is sitting down nicely on the ribs, and uh, quite happy with that. And so uh, next thing to do is to turn it over and put the wing tip on. So um, we'll get on with that. Well, after uh, finishing the front skin, um, I've been working on the wing tip for the last few hours, um, cutting the uh, glass fibre to shape and uh, I've got it clear code, silver clear code into place now and it's looking pretty good. Um, I've done the same as last time and uh, basically uh, moved the end line of rivets in slightly on the front top um, section. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight rivets there and uh, I've moved them progressively in which has meant that I've got the fit round the moulding that I want and uh, I've cut off about 7 mil of uh, metal towards the uh, the leading edge tapering to zero at the center or the cord. Um, haven't uh, filed it all up and made it look pretty yet um, but it's pretty much there and it's looking good. I'm quite pleased with it. It's, uh, it's pretty uniform all the way around. Anyway, so the next thing to do is to drill out to uh, copy Clico size and then it'll be time to, uh, to rivet. More later.